celebrated in the quiet bowers of Eden in the time of man's innocence. The scriptures tell us that God saw it was, that it was not good for man to live alone. And so he created woman and gave her to him to be his companion, his wife. To the man, he gave this instruction. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. This is a joyous occasion. Amen. And we're here to share in the joy of Sean and John as they join together in matrimony. It is also a bittersweet one because we know there are two people that we would dearly love to be here today. In order for our parents, Sam and Faritha Booker, to share with us in this room, let us join our hearts in prayer as we ask God's blessing on this universe. Our most gracious, merciful, and all-wise God, we praise you for the purpose for which we gather today. We thank you that you led Sean and John to one another and placed it in their hearts to seal their union in the bonds of marriage. We ask your blessing on this couple and the family that they now create together. Sit by. Protect them from those who would divide and allow them to grow in friendship, comfort, and love, and in their knowledge of you as their loving creator. Bless their home that it may always be a place of peace and love. We ask these and all blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. John and Sean, I require and charge you both that the vows you take this day are sacred above words, and that your lives hereafter shall be bound together unbreakable. But the security of your marriage will not rest in any rite or ritual of any church, nor in the word of any priest or minister, even if the minister is the bride's brother. <laughs> the security of your marriage will rest in the true purposes of your hearts, in your character, in the steadfastness of your devotion, and in the love of God. The great poet Maya Angelou referred to it this way. We, unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives, and in its train come ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet if we are bold, love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity in the flush of love's light. We dare be brave, and suddenly we see that love costs us all we are and will ever be. Yet it is only love that sets us free. Will you, John, have Sean to be your wife? Will you love her, honor her, comfort and keep her, and forsaking all others, remain true to her as long as you both shall live? If so, you may answer, I will. I will. Will you, Sean, have John to be your husband? Will you love him, honor him, comfort and keep him, and forsaking all others, remain true to him as long as you both shall live? If so, you may answer, I will. I will. John, if you would consummate the purposes of your heart as you stand here before God, please join hands with Sean and repeat after me. I, John. I, John. Take thee, Sean. Take thee, Sean. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And there too. And there too. I promise thee my faith. I promise thee my faith. Sean, if you would consummate the purposes of your heart as you stand before God, please repeat after me. I, Sean. I, Sean. Take thee, John. Take thee, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold, have and to hold from, this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for, better, for, worse, for richer for poorer, for richer, for poorer 
in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. And there too, I promise thee my faith. May I have the ring? For centuries untold, man has utilized the ring as a symbol of marriage. It is made of precious metal to symbolize the value of commitment. It is cast in fire to symbolize the testing of our faith. And it is a perfect circle with no beginning and no ending to symbolize the eternity of God's love. Bless, O Lord, these rings and they who give and receive them, that they may dwell in peace and unity and continue in your favor until their life's end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. John, place the ring on the third finger of Sean's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow. Sean, place this ring on the third finger of John's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, <laughs> with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. I thee endow. Please bow your heads with us as the prayer of our Lord Jesus. For as much as John and Sean have contended together in holy wedlock, and have declared the same before God and in the presence of this company, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel, and according to the laws of this state, I now pronounce them husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, what God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. John, you may salute your brother. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you, and I just hope you have a long, lovely life together. God bless. Time, dog wanna. I'm sick today. I made it through like the true trooper I'm supposed to be. You taught me to be that way. I love you guys, and remember, no one else knows this. I saw you guys when we first got together, and they can never take that away from me. And I'm glad, glad I live long enough to see you get together. God bless you all. Sean, because you my best friend since I met her before she had her baby, and I'm so excited that she is happy, and she's married to a wonderful, wonderful guy. And I wish them all the best. God bless you.